Well, we're about halfway between Old Head now and heading down to Waterville. And if you've ever heard of the Ring of Kerry, let me tell you something, it's absolutely fabulous. We're driving through the National Park of Kerry right now, and it's indescribable. Everything you've ever imagined about Ireland in your wildest fantasies and dreams is here in the Ring of Kerry. It is gorgeous. This ancient little church behind me right now seems to be a little hub halfway down on our way to Waterville, but the stream is beside us now, the lake, the mountains. Seriously, if you've ever considered coming to Ireland, do it, life short. Down the road to Waterville we go, and I'm gonna enjoy every step of the way. We are almost to Waterville, it's about 10 more miles down the road, and we've stopped at, at the base of the Ring of Kerry, and I'm almost, look, I'm a presenter for your television show, and I'm at a loss for words right now. The bay is behind us, it's absolutely gorgeous, so I'm going to let the video tell you the story right now, it's gorgeous, take a look. We finally made it to Waterville. We're gonna tee it up in the morning, but it's been an excellent journey through the Ring of Kerry throughout the day, it's been incredible. I've got the scotch in the hand, the sunset is behind me, I'm probably nothing more than a silhouette to you in your couch, wherever you're sitting and watching this. Take your golf spikes off, pour yourself an Arnold Palmer, because we're about to enjoy one of the most pristine golf courses on the face of the earth. As the Irish say, Slauncha. Waterville Golf Links, 1889. Golf course has been around for a little bit. What you can't see, what I'm looking at, is this beautiful, beautiful Irish ocean. Sun's coming up. Let's go inside and learn a little bit about this golf course, which right now ranks number sixth of all the European golf courses. Number six in the whole world. Let's go inside Waterville. Waterville is located in the most southern tip of Ireland. It's uh, 50 miles from Killarney, 110 from Cork Airport and 125 from Shannon Airport. This is a beautiful little village here at Waterville. Um, it's known as the Whirlpool. That means from the uh, you have the lake at the backdrop on the left and the Atlantic Ocean on the right hand side of us here. And uh, why it was called the Whirlpool years ago was because of the wind and the rain, the wind coming from the mountains and the coming from the sea. This uh, has been natural links and it, the original nine hole was in 1889. Then in 1970 it was uh, designed by Eddie Hackett and John A. Mulcahy for an 18 hole golf course. And uh, back seven years ago Tom Fazio came in and redesigned the, the course for the new company. The, that but took it over in 87 and uh, he has made a wonderful jo uh, job of the whole Lynx course. The, uh, the features in it, um, it's all sand, the dunes are naturally, the, on the back nine naturally made and um, from sand blowing in off the sea and it, the terrain is, is, is all sand really. Well Waterville House is a, a beautiful house, an 18th century house. It was uh, owned by the Butler family here in Waterville and uh, they had this, the fishing rights for the salmon and then uh, in the 60, late 60s Mr Mulcahy took up the gates and uh, the company in 87 uh, Mr Connolly and his friends kept that promise and kept the gates up to leave the salmon and sea trout run straight into the lake. We have had um, a lot of famous people here the likes of uh, Sam Sneed, Ray Flyde Gary Player, 
Jane Blaine Luck and Sally Little and uh, we had the world match play here which um, Sam uh, Ray Flyde and Jane Blaine Luck played Gary Gary Player and uh, Sally Little which was hosted here in Waterville. We also had uh, uh, Bob Hope and we had uh, Tiger Woods, Mark O'Mara, Lee Jensen, I can go on naming them and then the most famous uh, to me of the whole that was I suppose uh, Payne Stewart, God rest him, he was one of the nicest guys we ever had here and the last honour bestowed on him was he was made honorary captain of this Waterville Golf Club. Well it was uh, a man called Jack Mulcahy, I was uh, only a young man at the time, I'm going back to 1968 and I was practicing. I, was, I had actually just been selected to play for Ireland uh, as an international golfer. And this man, I was practicing in Killarney, and this man passed by with another eight or nine Americans and came up beside me and said, uh, I've heard about you. And he said, uh, I hear you hit the ball a long ways, he said, and uh, it's something I'd like to see. And he, sa he stayed there for about 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden he said to me, Liam, well, I've just found a fantastic piece of property down in a place called Waterville. And he said, it's real lynx ground. He said, I'd like you to come with me to have a look at it. So I said, OK. I didn't know who the man was or in any way. And I said, well, OK, we'll, go, we'll go, come on down and we'll have a look. And I brought him to this actual position. This is the 17th tee now, where we designed the course from. And uh, from there... It just went on and I went off and played the internationals. I was away for three or four weeks and when I came back this place he had already bought this place and it was up and ready to start the golf, golf links. And here we are. Now we're, we're now on hole 17. It's a par 3. A fantastic hole. It plays differently every hour of the day because the wind changes. One, one minute is behind you, the next minute is against you. It could be coming in from the sea or going to the sea. So it's a very, very difficult hole. It's not a hole that you can say, you know, I'm going to make par here every day. Because it's a very difficult hole. Because it, the weather changes so often that it's so different. Now, it's, it, I'm going to hit it today because it's quite calm. I'm going to hit a five iron. It's 200 meters or 200 yards long. It's a great hole. and. It's, if, you, if you hit a good shot, you'll get a good result. If you don't, you might never see the ball again. Well, he's on deck anyway, so which is not too bad for a start today. It's fairly straight cut this morning because there's a little bit of dew on the greens, as you can see this morning. It was very slow there, I didn't hit it. Because there's so much dew on the grass, the ball doesn't run through the grass. So you have to hit it a little bit harder. But then you come out in a half an hour when the dew is gone, and you touch it, and it's gone. It's gone past the hole, you know. So it, these are things on, on links that you, you'll find all the time, all these little things you have to learn about. This hole, number 18, is definitely one of the best, best and hardest finishing holes in the world. It's number 18 because the wind changes here every five minutes and it's just unreal altogether the way you the way you have to play this hole. That's the one I there it is. That's the one I've been looking for. Today, because it's probably 300 yards to the green, I'm going to try and lay up in front and then try and make my body, try and pitch in and, and, and try and hold the putt. It's just a little bit right, a little bit tight. So I just came off that a little bit. Just came out of it a fraction, but she's okay there. She's a little pitching wedge in there from about 20, 30 yards in. I'm going to try and hit it as close to the flag as I can pitch it and try and sit it down. Even though I'm coming out of the rough, it's not going to sit that, that it's not going to stop that fast, but I'm going to try and do my best anyway. You've got a lot of dew on that green, 
I played it for it to come off the hill on the left hand side and because there's so much dew now yet on the on the green the ball doesn't move on the green so it stayed on the side of the hill on the side of the green so it's going to be a difficult putt. Oh it jumped. It just slit the greens and she jumped on me. I go, what on? We'll have to settle with an old par again today. There we go. Okay, well that was great. I must say we had a great day here today and it was great to have you over here. And as all you American people, we'd love to have you here and show you what golf is all about. When you finish, my, my aim now is to go and have a nice quick pint. <laughs>